ta ta pressing record here now. We are now recording. Okay. First of all, Molly, Jennifer, where is where is my uh, where's Haley? There she is. Haley. Congrats on your big weeks this Thursday, you big darn deals, you. So proud of you. Haley has been in our uh, VIP diamond thread, but Molly and Jennifer Flores just got plugged into the super exclusive diamond thread where we talk crap about everybody else. Just kidding. Kind of. You'll never know till you get there, so you better hustle. All right, so uh, I have press record. Let me go ahead and mute everybody. So where were they? No, they weren't. Where were they? Nice. Okay, so we are in the last week of August. So we are gonna kick this call off tonight by sharing some tips on how to hit Success Club the last week of the month. Whether you yourself need to hit Success Club, you need to hit it in your spouse account, you have a teammate that needs to hit it, we're gonna share some tips on that. Who here has already hit Success Club for August? Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Who has not? You can put it in the chat if you are hiding your video. Who is not a success club, but will be hitting success club? Should be everybody. With okay. Hands, yeah. okay. I, so we, have, we still have lots of people that are pushing for this week. Okay, so we are going to start off by very simple, super tangible tips to do this. Because let me tell you something, Raquel and I have had many a month over the last four and a half years that we have hit success club on the last day. And I do mean last day in the final hour. So you are not alone and this is not something new. Some months are easy and some months take more work and that is okay. So we're gonna tell you what works for that because in four and a half years, on those months that we have hit on the last day, we have never, and I do mean never, missed Success Club. You have to treat it like it is a non-negotiable because if you let it go, it will become negotiable and then it just won't happen. It'll start to slip and then you'll miss it and then you miss it again and then it starts to become not important and then your business starts to not feel like it's moving where it needs to move. So we talk about success clubs so much because it really is so pivotal and you making sure that no matter what, whether it was a really bomb solid month and you hit crazy goals or it was just kind of a I'm staying alive month because life is busy you know that your business is moving forward and not backwards success club is a great tool and a great marker to indicate that okay so Raquel I'm gonna let you get started let's chat yes. and then my two okay so my very two top tips for hitting success club if you haven't yet at the end of the month like Jessica said, we've all been there, but the worst thing you can do is just throw in the towel and say, I'll start fresh on September 1. Don't let that be you. Okay. So let's show, let's see what you're made of and prove to yourself that you can do this. So top tip number one is follow up with everyone. So hopefully you've been talking to people, you've had people ghost you, you had people say, oh, I'll well, sign up on payday and payday comes around and you're like, Hey girl, I'm super excited to get you started. Um, let me shoot you the link. And then they ghost you again. Following up is a great way to pull in those last people in. Sunday night after the weekend when people have just had a free for all and they're eating is a great night to follow up. So if I were you after this call, I would send those follow up messages and say, hey girly, hey Jessica, I was thinking about you. I'm getting ready to start my second round of my new group. It's incredible, 20 to 30 minutes. These, my clients are getting incredible results. If you need transformations, I will make sure that to post them in the group. And I had you on my heart because I knew that we had talked about it previously, but it wasn't a good time for you. Are you thinking about it now? I know you're going to love this. What do you think? Something super simple. Send it as a voice memo. Send it as a message. However you want to do that. I tend to like voice memos because I like to hear people hear my excitement for them and know that I truly am coming from a genuine place of caring about them. And I also know that life gets crazy busy. This summer was probably the busiest summer of my life with my kids. And, but now they're in, in school. Now we're in kind of a routine. And for me, if I had ghosted somebody, I would have been like, you know what? It's time, right? I really don't have any more excuses. It's time. Let's do this. Okay. So that is number one, follow up with everyone. We're going to talk about promo codes a little bit too, but everyone should have, if you are an active coach, which you should be, if you're on this call, three promo codes for $10 off. If you have not utilized all those codes, 
offer that as an incentive. I had three discount codes and I immediately thought of you. Would you be one of, would you be interested in being one of my three that I give this to? I mean, that's coming from a place like I'm not only excited to give you this, but I'm also giving you a coupon. Yes. So following up, that's my number one. Number two, posting a transformation photo. And I would say do this multiple times this week. It's in your stories. You can make it a post if it's not you. But I, like I said, after this call in the recording, I'll post um, some transformations and I'll give you the little snippets of their stories from people who are doing MM100. And these people have had results after 20 days, after 14 days. In two or three weeks, some of these results will blow you away. Posting transformation is giving people proof that this stuff works. And I'm going to give you different body types, um, different women, some postpartum. Um, and so you can just, people, what I want to do with transformations is have people see themselves in that story. Okay. I want them to look at that woman's body, her before and be like, dang, that looks like me. Dang, in 20 days, that's what she looks like. Or shoot, I just had a baby four months ago. And look at the progress this mom is making. So sharing those and sharing those and sharing those. That to me is following up all the people, showing transformations. That's when I get people to say yes. And sometimes in conjunction with one another, following up, sometimes I will still see, I know you saw my message and you're still ghosting me. Then I pop them with a transformation photo in my story and I know they're watching my stories. And then it's like, boom, they come back and they're like, okay, Raquel, I think I'm ready. So those two combination together, I promise you is a winning scenario. Um, so I would definitely encourage you to do that this week. Ra Raquel, sorry. Yes. What did you say to approach him? Have you sent a message about the promo codes and I thought about you? What did you say? Yeah, I would just say, hey, girlfriend, I know that we had talked um, a couple months ago or in June about you joining my next group and it wasn't a good time for you. Totally understand the summer has been crazy, but I actually have three promo codes and I immediately thought of you first. Would you want to be one of my three that I give the, I gift this to? Okay. That feels, it feels exclusive. And I like to feel like, ooh, I'm, I'm one of the three. Who doesn't want to feel like, oh, she thought of me? Like, that feels good. And then it gives me another chance. Let's say I do that tonight, and then on Tuesday, I can come back and be like, hey, Leah, not sure if you saw my last message, um, but I have three codes. I actually only have two left. Were you wanting that, or is it okay if I give it to someone else? Again, it has your name on it, so I'm totally not trying to bug you, but I really wanted to get this to you if you were still interested. Again, following up, being like, hey, I still have this. But if not, it gives them a way to be like, no, it's all right. Give, give them away. You know what I mean? So it's an easy way to follow up, but also giving them like an in or out, being like, hey, I need to know yes or no. Because we're at the end of the month and like that would be a waste for us to sit on a $10 off when there could be someone else who takes it. So it kind of gives you multiple reasons to follow up. That's a huge one there is if you give them a, they have to respond to you, especially like, just let me know if it's not going to work out so I can gift it to someone else. They will always respond. Yes. It'll either give them that like, Oh, I got to do it right now. Or, Oh, it's like, I'm busy, whatever. What insert excuse of the month, but at least you'll know. And then you can move forward with the next person. So following up transformation and make sure that you know what you're inviting to. So wave two of VIP 100, the MM 100, starts on September 9th. The last day for people to order and get their stuff on time is the end of this week. So use this last week of August to go crazy getting people set up for wave two of MM 100. And use that sense of urgency talking about it in your story so that you're not panicking and talking about it's the last week of the month. Anybody who signs up gets a free cookie from me. That feels desperate. But if you're super excited and you're talking about, I cannot wait um, in conjunction with all the transformations that you're sharing, lots of team VIP coaches have posted transformations from their first 30 days of MM100, posting those, talking about those last chance to sign up for wave two in this week. That's exciting. And that sense of urgency, I want to follow. I don't want to follow somebody who I can tell because you know you can tell on social media when those network marketers come out of the woodworks the last day of your month and you're like, oh, I see you, girl. You struggling? You got a golden hit? I see you. Don't be that girl because nobody wants to join her. I'm like, stop it. Take that down. Take it down. So you want to be excited because you are starting your next wave of MM100 and you are helping people see these incredible results. See example X, Y, and Z of yourself and of your fellow teammates. So your social media content needs to align with what you're inviting to. 
So if, you, and if you're inviting to something different, go on with your bad self, but I'm just gonna use wave two of, of MM100 for the calendar purposes. If that's what you're inviting to, make sure your transformation is from MM100 that you're posting. Make sure the content that you're talking about is from MM100. Make sure the stories that you're talking about, the food that you're talking about, everything should align with what you're pulling people into. Show the group, show the group that you're the clients and that they're checking in so that they know this is a piece I'm gonna get. The meal plan is a piece I'm gonna get. The workouts are a piece I'm gonna get. They're seeing that value so that when you do follow up with them, they're excited because they've been watching your content all week. The other thing I would add to that, Jessica, because that's exactly show, 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 but know who you're talking to. What is their pain point? What is it? Yeah. I, mine is busy moms. That was me. I was a busy working full-time mom of three. So I needed something quick, fast, and effective because me going to Orange Theory, that, that would be an hour and a half to two hour process that I didn't have time for. So I'm talking about 27 minutes that get me super sweaty and great. I'm talking about how you're going to literally get a meal plan. You're not going to have to answer the mom, what's for dinner and be like, crap, I don't know. Let me go scrounge around the pantry, right? It's done for you a meal plan, recipes, grocery list. Do you know how nice it is to just plug into my HEB curbside or Instacart my entire meal plan and not even have to think about it? And then it's like magically delivered. That I'm hitting on those pain points. So really think about who am I trying to attract? Usually it's you or a version that was you. And what do they need? What is the irresistible offer that you have to give to them? You know, maybe it's for like, Jen, I'm going to use you as an example because you posted that video of yourself when, uh, four years ago when you were a little bit chubbier. I say that with love in the middle. And for you, I think you would have done anything to get abs. Like you're obliques. Like you're, I, like, you know what I mean? I've seen that transformation. And if you could show me your abs, you're where you were and now your abs now. And that was my trouble area. Yes. I don't even care what you're doing, but that's what I want. That's the irresistible offer. Yes. Okay. So that would be her target market. So again, think about who you're speaking to, how can you best serve them and how can you solve the problem? Because when you have that irresistible offer, they will figure it out and be like, yes, I got to get in there in any way, shape or form. hundred percent. And make sure that you don't treat the 31st, which is a Saturday as your last day to hit hit success club because I'll tell you, ain't nobody trying to get excited on a Saturday. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. Make your goal date Wednesday, the 28th. You are locking in your three people by Wednesday, the 28th. Do it like it is your job. And you are going to get cut if you don't achieve it. Because I promise you it's going to be very hard to start follow-ups on Thursday and have somebody sign up on a, on a Saturday. Not that it won't happen or it can't happen, but don't put that pressure on yourself because that's not fun. It's no fun to be on a Saturday on the 31st when people are trying to enjoy the last bit of summer or the first week of school and or whatever. They're just not excited. And they just spend all this money and just don't – yeah, and it's Labor Day weekend – don't get yourself in that pinch because if you wait until the end of the week to start all these things we're telling you to implement, it's going to be a lot harder to make it work. The beginning of the week, people are motivated because like Raquel said, they're coming off a weekend of probably bad habits. By the end of the week, they've forgotten those bad habits and they see Labor Day coming and they don't care. So they're like, after Labor Day, I'll figure something out. You don't want to get caught in that trap. So you've got a very short three-day window, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to crank it out this week and really go all in with your goals. With that being said, shifting over, if you have questions about what we, just, what we just threw at you, let us know. If not, now we want to open it up for questions. So Q&A, what are you struggling with? We have been giving a lot of content lately. We're going to continue to do the calendars. We'd love for you to tell us, did you like it, did you not? With the, I know I talked to Fallon earlier, and she said that it was very helpful to have, this is when you're inviting, this is when you're following up, like this is what you're inviting to. Like, to help break things apart. Cause sometimes it can be confusing on three day refreshes on sale and MM100 is coming up and pumpkin spice is opening and it can get confusing on what you're talking about. So you just don't talk about anything and then your business kind of unravels a bit. So tell us what you have questions about, need help with, etc. You can put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself. Not all at once. Okay, sharing a, <clears throat> sharing transfer. Okay, like 
MM100's making me feel really good and it's different and it's fun and exciting. But as far as like a true transformation, I feel like I'm at that point where I like where I'm at and I'm like, I know my nutrition was like to the T every day. And usually for the most part it is, I'd probably be seeing a little bit more, but it's like sharing transformations of like programs that, does that make sense? Am I making any sense? Like, okay. I know what you're saying. Yes, you look good. You are at your goal weight. You're a hot mama. So stay where you are. And I know you're saying, I don't have a before and after. Good. I think you should share. Look how I've been able to keep this off. Like, I think you just shared a transformation and I like loved it. I'd love to see where you are and I'd love to see you now. But there's, to me, I don't want to see a yo-yo. Like, that's not inspiring Mm -hmm. to me because I'm like, oh, you haven't made it a lifestyle yet? Like, why haven't you figured that out? As a coach, now it's like, here's where I was. Here I am maintaining, 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 maintaining. Show me that. And then showcase other people who, like I said, at the end of this call, I will mm-hmm. post them in the comments with their story and be like, here's, I'll show you my friend, Sarah. She just had a baby four months ago. She's recovering from a C-section. She's uh, exclusively breastfeeding and look at her transformation in 20 days. Share other people, but then go back to be you and be like, I'm so thankful that I've not only lost 30 pounds. I can't remember what your number is, but I've been able to maintain it. And as we're heading into as this busy school teacher, I need something simple, quick and effective that's going to help me maintain results and get them. And this is still working for me. Like to me, that's amazing. You know what I mean? Because I still think people think you have to kill yourself in the gym for hours upon hours to get results and or maintain them. Right. Yeah, then, it, then it just feels like a ton of pressure on myself. Sometimes I'm like, damn it, no. Leah, but I know I just <laughs> want to make sure I'm sharing it the right. Well, I do. You look fabulous. Yes. Yeah. Leah, can you hear me? I you agree. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Leah, your yeah. legs are freaking hot, dude. <laughs> like, Carrie Underwood, like, like, Underwood legs. Okay. You look like you seriously lift a crap ton of weights. If I were you, I would start in trying to be quiet because baby's sleeping. But if I were you, I would talk about, you know, I'm not spending hours and hours and lifting and lifting and lifting. I'm able to get a gun in 30 days and look at my freaking hot ass legs. Your legs are hot, girl. Thank you. Yeah, Yeah, no, this girl only lifts about 12. I agree. I'm kind of doing the same thing. Like I'm trying to, I've lost some over the last 20, 30 days. And now I'm just like maintaining because I can't gain anymore and I can't lose anymore because I have a wedding dress to fit in in like 50 days. So I'm like at that point too, where I'm like, okay, I've had a little bit of a transformation, but now I even posted today something like, okay, I'm trying to like not do the yo-yo, but like not gain any, but not lose any because I've got to fit in my dress. Maintaining is actually very hard. Yeah. (laughs) And that's why you see so many people lose and gain the same 10 pounds over and over and over, which is not what you want. It's not good for your metabolism. It's not good for your mindset either. So if you can talk about being able to maintain a current weight, like that's incredible. That's a great, great goal. I think just like uh, Raquel, you said, just sharing other people too, because I feel like I'm at that point where it's not going to be until I get pregnant or something. Like, I'm Girlfriend, I haven't rock, had a transformation. <laughs> When's the last time I had like a reel from a program before and after? I can't tell you. Maybe Shift Shop in 2017. Literally. Like my, my body has maintained. But like that's a, that's a win for me. Like, like right. you said, right, to be right, able right. to maintain on 25 minutes a day. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes. Now I with that know. said, on the opposite spectrum, if you still are on your journey – share it because that's really freaking inspiring too. Like part of me is like, dang it. I wish I had, I had gotten pregnant and lost the weight and I had more of a journey to share. So don't be afraid to share. And if you only lost 2.5 pounds in the past three weeks, that's a win. Share it. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad. If you've fallen off and you're embarrassed, talk about it. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room and be like, y'all, I set out to do a hundred days all out. And I'm going to be real. Like I haven't done it, but it's a day. It's a fresh day. Any day can be a day one. And I guarantee the next phase, I will get results. And I hope you're here to see me do that. Like take people on a journey with you. Everybody wants to see that. Cool. Other questions, stuff you're struggling with. Let's not say struggling because I think that's a negative word. I'm very excited to learn how to overcome 
overcome. Yeah, that feels more empowering. Struggling to me feels very disempowering and stuck. And words have power and I'm constantly trying to like rewire how I think and how I speak. Cool. Questions about anything at all. <laughs> okay, if you don't have a question, what's something that might is working for you right now that you're excited to share? Did you find a new app that you love? Somebody I have a new question, Raquel. How are y'all going to be pushing the, um, or how are y'all going to be marketing the pumpkin spice coming out? Great question. We need to create an email, right? Jessica, we're going to try to do that this week. We can email all of your current customers from your back office, which is awesome, just to let them know it's coming up. Um, we have some example posts from last year that we will gather as well from like how to share about it in a cool way, but also exclusivity as well. Like Starbucks does that. It's a very like exclusive time, pumpkin spice getting ready to launch and it's not here all year. Y'all, this thing sold out last year. So in like, in like a hot minute, very quickly. Um, so just also letting people know like, Hey, this is, it's also delightful. Like it is, they nailed pumpkin spice. If you haven't tried it, like I literally have saved, I saved my last pack and I finally finished it in July because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do without pumpkin spice in my life. Like it is so good. So we'll send out an email. We'll gather posts for you on sharing how we're going to share it. But like, let's just go ahead and set your alarm personally. Um, that when it goes on sale, you need to be ordering cause it will sell out. But start with, so the point being, the best place to start is with your current customers and your yes. best coaches. You want them to, because they already know love and, and they know Shakeology, they love Shakeology. You want to give them the first opportunity and then open it up to new people. Definitely be talking about it on your stories, talking about it before, like, hey, I'm sending out my pumpkin spice, like save the date or whatever. Like talk about it as you go. But predominantly focusing on your current people to first on the first day that it sells. So you want to be prepping them on those first couple days of September, which you'll have the information this week. You're sending it out to them so that they know they're also going to get a beach body email. So they're going to be getting it multiple forms. And so to have you reaching out will help a lot because this can be a huge volume booster for your business. And remembering if you're not using your current spouse account, use your current spouse account to order your pumpkin spice Shakeology and make sure that your spouse account is emerald. You are emerald so that you are benefiting from that volume that will come from pumpkin spice. Yes. Does that help? And Fallon, we'll, uh, we'll show you how to email. We'll just put like back office. Here's how you send that email. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's not hard to figure out. Yeah. Super simple. Super simple. You can email it right. Question. I think it's like a hundred person limit or something like that. Any other questions? Anybody have something good that they, um, like Raquel said, something that's working well for you, whether it's like an invite method, a power hour, some, some way to get it in every day that you feel like you're rocking your, your business in some way, shape, or form. Uh, yeah, Leah did say that she's been using the- um, Thank you, Jen. And be posted on her call. <laughs> what did I do? Trying. What's the title? This is gold. Wait, wait, rise, way. Rise, way. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> okay, it's um, gold. Can't hear you. I can't hear you. You frozen. Fallon said she's been loving the teacher power hour. This is the one that Rachel talks about on her uh, time management call. If you missed that. I just am making friends with people. Like I'm just, you know, strangers connecting on social media. Like I'm like, I'm just rock and rolling, talking to strangers and just connecting with them on other ways. Like not just, Hey, join my team. And that's been, that feels good because it doesn't feel so much like cringy and work and like you're having an invite and it sounds like an invite all the time. 
if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So just finding other ways to start conversations and not just be like, Hey, join my team or you interested in my challenge group girl. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Like actually caring and connecting. Being social on social media. Love it. Yes. Social for what it's supposed to be for. Right. Honestly, I have a lot of great social media friends that probably, I mean, maybe one day will join me, but maybe not, but I still just like love connecting with them. I'm like, thank God we connected because you live yeah. way far away and we never would have. So yeah, for sure. That's great. Anything else? Somebody that's, they're doing something that they're loving? Speak now, forever hold your peace. I have a question. When you would you say the last, not, sorry, not a struggle or anything like that. What, what, when would you say the last day to purchase a three-day refresh would be to get it in in time? I thought that was yesterday. Yes, yesterday. I mean, they can pay for expedited shipping. I would say the very last day would be like tomorrow because, again, we're coming into like a holiday weekend. Okay. Um, but, I mean, you can pay for expedited tomorrow, shipping. If they order tomorrow, they'll most likely – they should be signed. We are being super conservative with that. And that's a good reminder for those of you that were not aware of that we are doing a big team-wide three-day refresh again that Tuesday after Labor Day. So next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, we did this right before 4th of July and it was awesome. If you haven't done the three-day refresh yet, you should totally jump on and do it with all of us because it's more fun when you have a group doing it with you. And it's a great way to kickstart your results and show very quickly, hey, look what you can accomplish in three days. And, it, and we're all doing it, so you should probably just trauma. Jen just posted the tracker that Leah was talking about. She posted a link to it in the chat. So if you were wanting to take a, take a little gander at it, it's there for you. Eleni, are you on the call? I'm on my phone. Is Eleni on here? She is indeed. Yeah. Okay. There you go, girl. She just posted yeah. it. Okay. I'm on. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. So we have... We are at exactly 930, so we will jump off so that we do not um, take any more of your precious time. Thank you guys so much for getting on, but honestly, we know we've given you a ton of information. You have every single tool that you need to be successful, but we also know that sometimes there can feel like there's roadblocks, or there can feel like areas like, ooh, I'm really excited about this, but if I had, there's probably a tool out there, but if you can't find it, or you need help or motivation or whatever, don't hesitate to reach out. Don't feel, don't be a collector of information that never executes because that will not a business build. And that's what we're here to do. So just don't be scared to take action. And remember, you will lock in success club. You will get it done by Wednesday so that you can have a stress-free weekend that you will be enjoying. Super excited to see all the people joining this week. Uh, if you need a spell, go look at the, <laughs> yes, if you haven't seen Jen doing your dance video, check out her squirt from 2015. <laughs> We're making a comeback, Paula. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs> Toodles, team. <laughs>